guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm about to walk you through a full quad and booty focus workout. It'll take about 40 minutes. You need a set of dumbbells, but of course if you don't have them, no biggie, you can just do body weight. You'll need an exercise mat or carpeted area, and then either a steady chair that you can rest your foot against, or like a stairwell, staircase, something like that. So, get stretched out and then we'll get right into the workout. So I have the whole workout right now, right here for you. I'll also remind you as you go through, so don't worry about like memorizing this whole thing. And there'll be text across the slides telling you exactly what to do. So we're gonna start down on the ground doing kneeling leg raises. You'll do 10 each leg, and after you do 10 on one leg, you'll go into five pulses and then switch to the other leg. You'll do this for a total of four rounds. And this will just be to activate your booty. You should feel it in your hamstrings too, especially if you've done a hamstring workout recently. I was feeling this a lot. This was also my fifth set in reality because I forgot to record the first four. So I ended up doing eight, but you definitely only need to do four to get the job done. Would not recommend doing eight. We'll take a short break between each set. You can see here, I am checking to make sure the camera is actually recording. It is, so we're good, and I'm gonna go into my next set. If you need to slow it down, feel free to. But this is just a little warm up, so your heart rate shouldn't be getting too high. And if anything hurts, be sure to modify. Try and keep a strong core throughout, and don't let any of the pressure come onto your lower back. Another quick little rest and then we're going to get right back into it. Keep it up. set of this and then we're going to get into the workout. Okay, so that was our quick little glute activation to get you warmed up. Now we're gonna head into our first superset, which will be jump squats and walking lunges. So for this first superset, we are gonna do 12 jump squats and then go straight into 20 walking lunges. You'll do 10 lunges on each leg, so it'll be a total of 20. With the jump squats, really focus on trying to push through and get higher. And then with the walking lunges, you want to be sure that you are taking a good step out but still maintaining your balance. If you don't have dumbbells, no worries. Doing these body weights will still be just as effective. You definitely will feel it. I was struggling through these reps.
Okay, now that we finished that first set, we are going to take about a 30 to 40 second break. I'm checking my watch to make sure I'm keeping on time. And we will be back in a second. Your heart rate should be up. My quads are burning at this point. And this workout is killer. Okay, ready, set, and begin set two. And now it's time to go into that second set of walking lunges. Okay, and time to take a break. We'll give ourselves about 30 to 40 seconds again, and then we'll start the next round. Let's begin. Make sure you are still really pushing through and trying to get as high as you can. And time for those walking lunges. You are so close, finish strong, keep pushing, I know it's hard. I am struggling right here with you. You're so close though, so just keep on pushing. Rest time, we just finished our third set. Great work guys. This, I will tell you, I think this is the hardest superset of this whole workout today. So once we get through this, everything else is gonna seem so much easier because you already accomplished this really difficult task to get started. So we're just gonna rest for a little bit and then we'll get into our final set.
it's just time to finish out the last of these walking lunges and we'll get to move on to the next thing. Finish strong and push through. set done, we'll take a little rest, and then we'll start the next one. I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video that you are definitely going to want to have water out with you. So if you don't have water, pause the video, totally fine. Go grab water, take a breather, and then we'll get into this next superset. So this second superset is going to be a rear foot elevated split squat, which is why you're going to need a staircase, chair, table. If you have a bench, that's awesome. Um, I'm gonna be using a table, I'll pull it over here in a second. And then after we do the split squats on both legs, we're gonna move down to the mat and do 20 leg raises. So to do these split squats, you're just gonna put one foot back and then just kind of squat down or lunge down on that front leg. Both knees will be bent and we'll do 10 each leg. and switch legs. These are really hard for me personally, which is why I'm choosing just to do body weight for these. I wanna work on just getting stronger and better at them before I add more weight. As you can see, I struggle with my balance there a little bit, that's okay. It definitely helps to find a spot on the ground and just focus on that as you move through the exercise. And if you're feeling wobbly, feel free to hold on to something next to you. There is nothing wrong with that and it'll definitely help you maintain your balance. Now you are going to move to your mat for the leg raises. We are going for a total of 20 for this exercise. You can either lie down with your hands under your butt to support you or you can sit up like I do here. This is a little bit harder, so I like to switch between the two throughout all the different sets. Uh, my number one goal is just to focus on making sure my back is pushing into the ground and I'm maintaining good form. Once you finish all 20 reps, it's time to rest. We'll take about 30 to 40 seconds again and then we'll repeat. to get set up for our second set. So get that foot back and start your reps. doing 
10 each leg, so now it's time to switch to the other leg and complete 10. Once you finish 10 on that second leg, it's time to return to the mat for 20 leg raises. Once again, be sure that you're pushing that lower back into the ground. You don't want your core to not be properly engaged. rest great work keep it up we are halfway through for this superset and then we just have one set followed by a finisher so we are getting so close keep up the good work Let's knock out this third set. 10 reps each leg, let's go. Time to switch legs. And once you finish that, we're going to go back to the mat and do 20 more leg raises. When you're doing these, you want to be careful not to strain your neck. So if you're feeling any kind of pressure in your neck, just go ahead and lower your head down to the ground and put your hands under your booty. And that should help. rest time. Okay, just one more time, one more set, you got this. A few more seconds of rest. Okay, time to get this last set in. 10 lunges each leg. Let's get it.
to the other leg and get started on that. Last 10, push through. Time for 20 leg raises to finish out this last superset. Great work, we finished that superset, and now we're almost to the end. All right, great work guys. We have one more set of exercises, and then a finisher to burn it out, and then we'll be done with the workout. You're doing great, keep it up. For this exercise, I'm going to be using dumbbells again, but if you don't have dumbbells, no worries. You can do body weight or just use any kind of weight you might have at home. You want your feet to be wider than shoulder width apart. We're doing sumo squats here with a pulse at the bottom of each squat. And let's get started. At the top of each rep, you want to make sure you're squeezing your glutes together so that you're really working them well. And rest. Our breaks are going to be a little bit shorter this time just because our heart rate's not getting as high with this exercise, but you can always pause and take a longer break if you need it. We only have three sets left. Let's start set number two. Try and focus on keeping your core strong once again just because that provides a great base for the exercise. Also try to make sure you're not slouching. You want to keep your shoulders back and your chest open. And time for another little rest.
time for set number three. And rest. That means we only have one more set left. Keep it up. Last set, let's finish this workout up. Great work, we just finished the last set. All right, great work everyone. All we have left are wall sits as a finisher. So take a little rest, grab some water, and then we'll get into it. Okay, get down in your wall sit position. We're gonna hold this one for 45 seconds. I'm keeping time, so don't even worry about it. I'll tell you when time is up. time. Go ahead and take a break, shake it out. We'll rest for about 30 seconds and only have two more. And let's start another one. This one we're only going to do for 30 seconds because honestly, I've done 3 by 45 before, but today it just was not happening for me. If you want to hold it longer, good for you, but I'm not going to be. And stop, let's take a little rest before we go into this last one, which will be 45 seconds. We wanna push through and finish strong.
Ready, set, go! All right, so that is the full workout for today. Thank you so much for watching and following along with me. If you like this, be sure to like and subscribe and comment below, and I'll be back with more videos soon.